Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, his glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekha HaKodash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, the other apostles of Great Billstone, also known as GMS, and salutations to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth to the pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, but Yum Yum, GMS, Mississippi. With an intrinsic topic through the Spirit, the power of the Heavenly Father and His, and his only begotten Son. Going into the hate of GMS does not give you a free ticket into the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. And the reason that I'm titling this particular video that is because individuals think that just because they hate. GMS, they hate the Apostle Tahar, they hate the Apostle Gabar, so on and so forth. That if they have a, 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 a pure hatred against the men in GMS, they have convinced themselves that they're doing the will of the Heavenly Father. They've convinced themselves that they're casting down and shunning away evil. But when the reality of it is, is if you deem yourself an Israelite, or a follower of Yahweh Shai, you're, we're all in the same bucket. You're not going to be handpicked and selected for favor. You're not going to be handpicked and selected to not go into a concentration camp. You're not going to be handpicked and selected to say, oh, oh, you're a different Israelite. No. Those that follow after Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability, following the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth, as the scriptures state, you're all considered a hater of the state an enemy of the state so your hate and your disdain simply because there's no wavering there's no bending there's no bracketing when it comes to the true understanding of the bible the true interpretation of the bible the law statutes the commandments everything the sweet and the bitter those things that sound good and those that that don't give you a warm and fuzzy feeling all because great millstone stands firm on what this does said the lord you know we can't become your enemy because we tell you the truth you know but the scripture state state that we shall but i want the message to be very clear that although you may set yourself different oh oh we not like those guys oh oh oh, oh that's them gms niggas so on and so forth. You know, you think the insults are, 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 are cute. All the while you're out on the highways and the hedges being radical, <laughs> being defiant, flashing weaponry, sp 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 speaking, speaking treacherous things, you know, bringing forth a negative light on this thing of ours, which is returning back unto the Heavenly Father and to our true natural estate, right? Remembering who we are, getting back into the old path, seeking the old path. You think your allegiance with Esau, Edom, in today's time, and oh, 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 yeah, they're a hate group. Oh, they're evil, they're wicked, those unrighteous niggas and GMS. Any unrighteous dealings and any unrighteous individuals in any camp, the Most High is going to weed them out. The Most High has a judgment of destruction prepared for them. Let the Most High do his thing. You're not going to pull forth or, or expedite the agenda of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by hating specifically against El Apostle Tahar and, 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 and the men of Great Millstone on down. The Apostle uh, uh, Gabar, the Apostle Rika, the Apostle Ariam La. Your disdain and your hatred, because they're filled with the Spirit and filled with the light, is not going to make you a different individual, individual, a different sect, a different group, under a different umbrella. And as I stated, the actions of a great majority of you camps out there. It's all for attention seeking. It's all for to be seen of men. It's all for vain glory. 
and it's all to get a name for yourself and for your group. You know, and as I stated, being rebellious, being defiant, being aggressive, you know, the same way that the angels on, on high take note of the actions of every, every individual, you know, Esau Edom is taking notes as well on you particular groups out there. Not obeying the laws of the land. You know, not agreeing with your adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him. Purposefully attacking individuals, both physically and verbally. You know, we're men. First, you know, we're men of the Lord and we're men secondarily, man. And you got to stand firm and stand and stand, and stand fast on emotional maturity and, and a mature spirit of mind. A lot of you guys are just loud mouth blabbermouths, thinking it's all about hooping and hollering and and, and, and cursing people out. You, know, you got to understand that the Most High is going to judge your, your ways and your conducts and all your acts, whether they be good or whether they be evil. As I stated, and I'll continue to state, your hatred and your disdain specifically towards Great Millstone is not going to put you in good grace with Esau Edom. Because as it is written, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Right? So if you follow this man in defiance against your brother and the hatred against your own brother, hand join in hand, they both gonna fall into the ditch. Because when you look at the message that is spoken, the message is just spoken harshly. It's spoken in, in truth. It's spoken in sincerity. It's spoken without any particular additives or preservatives. Because the word is the word. The Most High said to let your yea be yea, your nay nay. Even the book of Revelation, the third chapter goes into, he would rather you were hot or, or cold. So the Most High is, is, is always standing firm on it is what it is. And, and like they say in the world, it ain't what it ain't. Right? So it is what it is and it isn't what it isn't. There's no gray areas when it comes to the understanding. And there's no gray areas when it comes to what the Most High requires of us versus what he desired not of us. You know, but as I stated... You know, being defiant against the law, you know, ignoring uh, Romans 14, you know, ignoring uh, the book of Matthew, the green with our adversary, I want to say this, 25, ignoring to let not your deeds be evil spoken of, ignoring keeping you from evil and the appearance thereof. We're all going to end up in the same bucket. And although we don't condone a great majority of the uh, of, of, of how you know you guys conduct yourselves, you other camps out there, how you conduct yourselves in the public in the public scene. At the end of the day, I understand that your actions and your ways are still going to have us all placed in the same bucket you know whether you got the 501c3 whether you ha ha have signed a deal signed a contract you know everything is null and void in wartime you know so you know but that's the point there as i stated your hatred and your disdain towards the other apostles of great millstone and the 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 brothers underneath them as a whole does not set you apart differently and being an Israelite man or being an Israelite woman we're all going to be placed in that same bucket when it comes to Esau coming down upon us and, and during the time of Jacob's trouble you know so the scripture states to work out your own salvation Fear and trembling, and most sides will you receive some edification. Till next time, I say shalom.